All right, we've talked to all these guys down here. Can I talk to Mary Den? Something like that. Your worship graces me with blessed eyes. That's right. Don't you forget it. All right. Uh, I think the only person I haven't talked to is um, Blackwall. What are you doing over here? So many people. That needs to change. What's going on? The Inquisitor. That's me. All right. I don't know what's going on there. Um, is that right? Blackwall is the only one I haven't talked to. Sometimes I forget my party members. Let's just go down here and check in with him. Hey, hey what? Did you see that? That guy just disappeared. That was Michelle. Oh man, he totally disappeared. I wanted to talk to him. All right, whatever. Hey, Flissa, how how's it going? Your worship. I said, how's it going? Blessings upon us all. All right, whatever. Sheesh. Hey, Blackwall, how's it going, man? Yes. Um. What do you think of the Inquisition? I think the entire world is looking over its shoulder, wondering if the Inquisition's watching. Oh, okay. Gosh. Hmm. I think we've what already asked him all this stuff. Is? He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity, and I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. All right. We should return to our duties. Yeah. As you wish. In other words, get you back are, to work. After all, in charge. Mm -hmm, that's right. Don't you forget it. And Master Dennett, you got anything new you want to talk about? All's well. How are your charges? Well supplied. Oversupplied. Hmm. Never thought a mountain pass could seem like luxury. Okay. Farewell. Mm -hmm. Make her be with you. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's that. What's going on over here? Um, oh, I'm not even gonna ask what you're doing. Well, so I guess I've checked in with everyone in my party, unless I'm forgetting someone. I don't think I am. So oh, that was weird. So I guess let's go back into the War Council room and uh, get the reports from our people and make sure that they have things to do before we head out again. Oh, wait a minute. I want to go... I want to go into my uh, courtyard out here and uh, make sure I pick my elf root while I'm here. Yeah, let's do that. Elf root. Alfred. Okay, come on now. It's kind of hard to line this up properly so that you the correct thing is highlighted. See? Come on now. There we go. And come on, you can do it. Come on now. All right. Hmm. Yeah, if I had enough elf root, I could do, finish that quest. I don't know if anybody here sells elf root. Let's see if she's anything good to talk about. I am glad that issue has been resolved. Uh, okay. What is your evaluation of our supplies? We are groaning with resources. A reflection of your competence and inspiration. Groaning, huh? As you were. Of course, Inquisitor. Okay, so now I will go back in and talk to the uh, War Council. Hey, there's Michelle. Are you going to disappear? You son of a... What are you, a ghost? What is it with this guy? He disappeared on me again. Huh. I'm suspicious. Oh, I've talked to Leiliana, so now maybe she'll have something else to say. Enchanted Vivienne wishes to register a complaint about the upholstery in the dining hall. I've already told her we cannot replace it with velvet right now. It is a little worn. <laughs> okay. Didn't ask your opinion. Well, Liliana just gave me quite the speech. Ah. What about? About us. <sighs> oh, she is impossible. Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Hmm, I know a spot. Leliana said I was an innocent in love? 
More or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, Inquisitor. Hmm. I, I assure you. Oh, gosh. Um, let's see. Kindle the start of a romance with Josephine. This will break off a romantic path with Josephine. Kindle the start of romance with Josephine. I should have flirted Perhaps harder. I should have composed a ballad then. Or sent roses. What? You mean you do? <laughs> We've only just... I didn't wish to presume you harbored any tender feelings for me. Yeah, but I do care for you. I won't deny a certain captivation, Josephine. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? Uh, well, you know, it, um, you made it easy. You have intelligence, elegance, and I always delight in your company. It seems most natural to want to be close to you. I would not object to a closer relationship between us, my lord. If that sounds agreeable to you. Kiss her, dude. Nothing would make me happier. Well, then. Oh, nice sound effects. Finally! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Let's see, anything cool in this room? Nope. That sure is a small bed. <laughs> I mean, come on! I'm the Inquisitor for crying out loud. Look at the size of this room! Can you give me this little teeny tiny bed? Oh, whatever. Alright. Let's get back to business now. Or at least try to. Um, yeah. So I wonder what would happen if we talked to Josephine now that that happened. Let's go see. I thought I saw something. I don't know if there would be gossip now. Hey, you. How you doing? How are you, my lord? I am happy to see you. Oh, thinking how lovely you are. Oh, my gosh. Always better for the sight of you, Lady Montelier. <laughs> oh, my. You flatter me much too much. Um, let's just ask her a question. How far do your roots go back to Orlais? Very far. The Montelier's used to have vast holdings in Malroyo itself. I wish I could have seen them. Especially the ones bearing the family crest. The original crest design was abandoned when we were exiled from the city. I've always wanted to find a copy. Hmm. Really? Well. Um. Gosh, do I want to do this? Does anyone gossip about us? Has our being together set any tongues wagging? Undoubtedly. A rumor already gave you a dozen suitors the moment you took your title. Uh, what kind of suitors? Who were these rumors pairing me with? I can only speak to what was whispered in several courts. Josephine. <sighs> to begin with, Cassandra, Liliana, Colin, Dorian, Mother Giselle, the Lord Seeker, <laughs> Chancellor Roderick, two barons, three maids, and some man named Philip. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think he even exists. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does, um, Liliana disprove? Why was Liliana so set against us being together, Josephine? think nothing of it. She'd disapprove of anyone I chose to keep serious company with. Back in Valroyo, Eliana was practically my older sister. You two weren't close? Am I asking what I think I'm asking? So you two never had a romantic history oh, yep. together. That's what I'm asking. A romantic... You did hear me say Eliana was like a <laughs> sister to me. She's a most dear friend. And nothing more. Okay, alright. Alright, I'm just gonna break this off. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see what happens if we spend some time alone. I thought we might go somewhere a little more private for a while. I have so much to do, but... Oh, let's do. After you. Oh, here we go. All right. So a new quest showed up there. All right. Hmm. 
Wow, right out there so everybody could see. Come on, PDA folks. Go to the war table to find Josephine's family crest. Oh, and now she left me out here. Man, you people. Just leaving me wherever. Um, okay, I just thought, you know. Who knows how much time has passed. Thought I'd check to see if maybe there was some new seeds in there. Or new plants grown. I wonder if I go talk to Liliana and see what she has to say. About what's going on. Well, let's see if Varric says anything. If you've got questions, I'm nope. your dwarf. Okay, never mind. Carry on. Mm. Yeah, this is how I get to Liliana. Here we go. Yes, I saw that book sitting on that couch. I'm not gonna bother to pick it up. I guess I took the long way around there, but hey, whatever works. Oh, Leliana. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt so you. Varric knew where the champion was all along. <laughs> That's the last time we sent Cassandra to interrogate. Okay, that was kind of random. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of Haven, should Corypheus or his lackeys return. So far, nothing, and the breach has been quiet for some time. That is something, at least. What else you got? Anything I should know? Having the Templars join the Inquisition has done wonders for our reputation. The people trust the Templars, and now they trust us. Awesome. One more. Anything I should know? Having the Templars join All right. the Inquisition has See you later, goodbye. I'm going to be rude and reputation. leave right in the middle of your conversation. Back to work. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Okay. Now to the war council. Unless something else distracts me on the way there. Um, yeah, through here. And this place is freaking huge. Freaking huge, man. Okay, got something here in Ferelden, Hard and Hightown, a worthy dwarf. Nightingale, we removed the dwarf from his home in Hightown. He had another manuscript in progress, which we burned, doused in acid, and threw into the sea. Apparently, he has a beef with Varric for setting up the champion of Kirkwall with another runecrafter. He ranted about better beards and true dwarves, and then declared himself the greatest writer in Thetis, at which point Fletcher laughed so hard she started choking. That dwarf is a menace. And he claims he didn't send a note to Skyhold. Cooper. Alright. Oh cool, we got an ornate Bianca grip. That's cool. Something to give to our buddy Varric. <clears throat> Claim Grey Warden cash. What'd we get? The Grey Warden supply cash gave us some excellent equipment useful to any military force. It also included several rare designs not seen for hundreds of years. They should serve us well in the fights to come. Okay. Alliances forging away forward. The Tybalt family is becoming a clear favorite in the war of station that is ongoing between the noble houses. The Bordelons have all but ceased to exist socially and many are scrabbling for traditional alliances. Lady Eustace Richelieu has emerged as a strong voice at court and is suggesting several arranged marriages to solidify ties and presumably the standing of her house as arbiter and matchmaker. Okay, we got some influence for that. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's see. Um, let's, 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 let's go ahead and do this. Chata. Between research of arts of intertexts, reports recovered from the Venatori, and casual questioning of the local villages, I believe we have tracked down the Shrine of Dumont. Unfortunately, Corypheus is diligent about keeping his secrets. The opening to the Shrine is surrounded by traps of a design we've never seen before. There is no alternative. To breach the Shrine, we will have to trigger the traps to learn their function. We may suffer losses, but the information inside will be invaluable. I leave it to you 
to choose who to send on this mission. Do you really? Because it uh, looks like I can only do this one. Uh, my agents know the risks. They're ready to clear the shrine on your command. Yeah, yeah, that's all I could do is send these guys. All right, here we go. Inquisitor, as I hoped, our forces have managed to handle many of the traps surrounding the Shrine of Demot. As I feared, we lost several good men and women in the process. Good lord. You know, I've noticed that she she seems to really be focused on the results and not on the any casualties that uh, may r result as a, as a consequence. Uh, you know, oh well, we lost some people. Given their losses, I am withdrawing our forces and placing them in covert positions in the surrounding countryside to watch for Venatori or any additional efforts by Calpurnia to breach the shrine. I suggest you approach now and discreetly. There will be no better time, Liliana. Really? Okay. If you say so. No, we're not going to the Shrine of Dumont now. We are not. That is the main quest waiting for us. All of these are completed. Oh, here's one down here. What do we got? Rumors of the Sullivan Blade. A pair of elves was found deceased in Empri du Lyon, victims of the region's unnatural weather. Evidence found at their camp suggests they had discovered the resting place of the Sullivan Blade, a sword from Dalish legend. The blade was lost during the Second Age, and besides being a valuable historical artifact, it's said to be a formidable weapon. The Inquisition's agents should be able to trace the elves' trail back to the blade's location. Recovering the sword could impress potential Dalis allies, particularly if we are willing to share information on it. Okay. Secrets. Why did the elves fail to recover the sword themselves? I want more information on this legend. Leliana, the Sullivan Blade is said to be one of the finest weapons ever crafted. The tale of its loss is rarely shared, but we're all impacted by Corypheus's madness. If the sword may serve the Inquisition, then it serves us all. During the exalted march on the Dales, a band of elves used the sword to spill innocent blood. They hoped to power magic to use against their enemies. Instead, they were punished for their savagery. Spirits reached beyond the veil and struck them down. As for the blade, to this day it lies broken on cursed land. None may touch it without meeting the same fate as those elves. The sword is real, that I know. As for the tale, I cannot say. Stories told to frighten often involve a fair deal of embellishment. That doesn't mean something real did not inspire it. Naria first, two-keeper Elindra of Clan Ralafarin. Alright. Not right now. Are there any more of those things around here we could open up? Just opening up everything except for the main quest right now. Just thought it's something to do. Uh, that's done. Let's see. Red Templar. This one's been here for a long time. Reports indicate that Red Templars have taken over an old dwarven port on the Storm Coast, granting them a foothold in Ferelden as well as easy access to the Waking Sea. The port itself provides a strong defense from outside attack. A full assault by our soldiers might eventually yield results, but not without high casualties. A smaller group may have better luck infiltrating their stronghold. Oh, we have a choice this time. Secrets. We do not want to draw attention too soon. My agents will find a way to enter the stronghold without alerting the Red Templars. Forces. Small initial attacks could secure the surrounding area and distract the Templars from a larger plan. Let's do this one. Let's, uh, let's be secretive here.